Hi, I'm Mitch Reed. Welcome to my vlog. And my vlog this week is on cross-tuning tunes and players. And I just want to talk a little bit about that. Um, it's a tradition that we used to have down here that we've pretty much lost. And um, not, quite, not quite sure why, maybe because of the fiddle seconds, the accordion a lot. But before the accordion came around, there were a lot of different tunings for the violin. Um, and much like Appalachia, uh, we did the cross tuning. So Dennis McGee was one of those players uh, in Bebe Cartier, and I, I'd like to maybe just talk a little bit about them and play a tune. And the first tune that I was thinking about was um, a tune that Dennis played called Cotillion, which was a type of dance, like a reel or a square dance. And he tuned his fiddle, so I have it tuned this way. It's uh, D, G, D, G. So kind of an interesting tuning and uh, yeah, I'll play it for you and you can see some of the techniques that I'm doing uh, with the bowing. You can rock your bowing a lot when you do these tunings and catch a lot of open strings. You can also um, just get strings to resonate on their own just because they're, they're all tuned together. So here we go. So yeah, again, I have it tuned, uh, see the E string, the little string is D, G, and then D, G. So the two big strings are up to their normal tuning and then the two high strings are tuned down and that's what gives it that effect. All right, so um, yeah, this tuning was also used by Creole fiddle players and one of my heroes was Bebe Carrier. He was from Lautel, Louisiana, and uh, he had a tune that he wrote called Blues A Bebe. And uh, well, so what's nice about it, he, he plays it in two different octaves, basically that's how it works. So the fingering is the same on both pairs of strings. So it goes like this. <laughs>
All right, who's our baby? So another great old time fiddle player from Lawtel, Creole fiddle player, Blues Abebe, uh, Bebe Carrier, and um, had so many great tunes. And so you have both Dennis McGee uh, and um, Bebe Carrier using this old time tuning. <laughs> and there's a lot of great um, pl old time players that use this. The other one was if you drop the E down, so if I drop it down to, uh, let's see what that is, uh, a B.
thanks so much for joining me. I just wanted to play a few uh, cross tuning tunes and talk about that old time tradition that used to be used in Cajun fiddle and hope it doesn't totally die out. So that's why I thought I was going to do this vlog, just maybe inspire some of y'all to try it out and play those tunes. And uh, if you like any of those, um, go to my website, send me a message, um, mitreadmusiclessons.com. If you want me to break some of those tunes down, note, note for note, I can do that. Uh, just seeing how many of y'all are interested in that stuff. But I love playing that stuff. I don't get to play a whole lot of that. Um, when you go to jams, you usually just tune your fiddle down the Cajun tuning and leave it that way. Um, but, you know, Dennis McGee and the old time players would tune for different tunes, they would they would tune differently. So they might play one tune, mess with their fiddle, tune it that way, then the next tune, tune it another way. Um, uh, it takes a lot of patience <laughs> to do that kind of stuff. But uh, I guess that's how it used to be. So thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Stay inspired, keep on fiddling, and hope to see you out there soon. Thank you.